Hello, this is Dr. Nishal Walker, and let me briefly describe to you uh, in this uh, section what kind of evaluation and assessment can we apply into dynamic and adaptive learning systems. As you know, evaluation and assessment has been a very important part of educational system. And you cannot really ascertain effectiveness of any learning system unless you have some way of measuring the effectiveness by doing some evaluation and as well as assessment. So the act of uh, conducting certain assessment and collecting data on the learning behavior or learning outcome of individual learners, that leads to evaluation of any educational system. So as you know, there are so many different models and methods for evaluation. The most commonly used terminology is uh, uh, formative evaluation or formative assessments as well as what we call summative evaluations. So formative assessments are done uh, by running some survey instruments so that you can provide certain items where a student can provide feedback in terms of uh, a scale which is normally called Likert scale where you can rate uh, student response from let's say 1 to 5, 5 being the best and 1 being the poorest and in between there are several segments uh, which a student can define 1.5 to 2.5 to 3, 3.5 to 5. So you provide them a numerical scale which defines the quality from worst to the best or excellent. And that's how most of the items are presented to the student and what is termed as item analysis uh, based on the instrument, the survey instrument which are given to students. What I've observed in my study is that most of these survey instruments are not very effective. Number one, it's very hard to create a very good uh, survey instrument which has the right kind of questions which is being asked. Another one is that when the student or the learner is uh, responding to those surveys, most often they are responding out of context because they took a course throughout the semester and at the end of the term you are giving them a survey instrument. Most often they are in a hurry to finish that survey instrument because it's given at the almost like the last class of uh, uh, the course and they will probably not even pay attention to the questions which are asked, do not provide well thought answers. So most of the data becomes corrupted or not validated data because it's not well thought of answers. So one of the ways uh, I thought that uh, evaluation system, especially when we are thinking about a, a, a dynamically uh, generating system is to create a pedagogical instrument which can measure the performance of instrument on various level and uh, provide them uh, input in terms of both formative and summative way. So this instrument or this proposal of creating assessment of online courses or rating their effectiveness, what I call as pedagogical effectiveness index. The way we can define a pedagogical effectiveness is by looking at what kind of pedagogical input is provided in a course and then we can take the input from students to understand how they are responding or how they are receiving this pedagogically driven instructional design course and how they are performing within that framework and what is their feedback to the people who are creating these courses. So if you look at that, the input signal or again what we say, what kind of media, what kind of models and what kind of interactivity and what kind of social interaction is inbuilt into the course and then looking at evaluating those parameters in a way how students are receiving them. And that's where we look at both sides of the equation where we can say that this course is built, let's say, with five different learning models five different interactivities and five different media and it's covering auditory visual kinesthetic plus it also allows students to do two different or three different kinds of social interaction. So 
So once you look at this is a highly media rich, interactivity rich, social media rich, as well as a, a feedback rich environment, then you want to ask student questions about the content factors, whether the content they receive was good or not. Then you want to talk about delivery factors, how was it delivered? What were the learning factors in terms of what different learning models were made available? Then you can talk about uh, the usability factors. Usability essentially means that how the instructional design was presented in graphical user interface. And was it usable? Was it user friendly? Graphical user interface. So you can look at the usability factors. You can also look at accessibility factors where you know uh, whether the content was available to a student which has certain disability, whether hearing impairment or vision impairment and how that was handled, which is accessibility standards, uh, American Disability Association and 508 and 504 compliance. And you can finally also look at the technology factors where you can see whether when it was delivered, whether the content was appropriate for the bandwidth and the technology infrastructure uh, of the target audience. So I think this is where we can then do summative evaluation. And by combining these two elements of pedagogical effectiveness of the course itself, how it was designed with the four different dimensions of learning, and then multiplying that with the summative uh, evaluation by the students on how they received content factors, uh, learning factors, usability factors, delivery factors, and technology factors. Now we have a very good uh, index of what they call rating of uh, online courses. So this is the way we can create a very important aspect of evaluating courses and that can be embedded within the course itself. So it does not become as an afterthought or after effect, after the fact that the course is delivered. But now we can apply this kind of uh, dynamic rating system while the course is being given and we can do the course correction. And that's where maximum advantage of uh, a evaluation and assessment system can be achieved to improve uh, the quality of the courses leading to highest quality of learning outcomes.